An uptick in gun-related crimes continues in La Crosse after two new shootings over the weekend. And police say the trend goes back to 2017, and they are concerned for the safety of the community. News 8 Now's Jordan Fremstead takes a look at the problem. The courts know it as case number 2020 CF000436. However, a local father knows it as the case involving his son, Anthony Fimple, who was shot and killed this past June. It is one of too many gun-related incidents in La Crosse that has the attention of local law enforcement and prosecutors. Anytime we have a gun crime or a shooting in the city of La Crosse, we're concerned. This year, it seems to be getting worse. Anthony's story highlights a problem that started long before the pandemic began. We specifically noticed the spike in gun-related calls um, and shooting-related calls back in as early as uh, 2017. Shooting calls, felon in possession of a firearm charges, and weapons seized have all climbed significantly, according to La Crosse Police, over the past few years. Captain Jason Melby says gun crimes are usually connected with other illegal activity. Drugs are a big factor. It's very rarely do we just come across somebody who's a felon that has got a duck hunting gun and going out duck hunting. La Crosse Police have expanded their partnership with the Federal Prosecutor's Office. We have individuals that have had multiple gun charges locally end up going into federal court and receiving longer sentences. La Crosse District Attorney Tim Grinke says gun violence is a problem across the country. It's up to communities to work together to fix it. I don't think you can expect the police or the system to try to keep things from happening. We usually show up after the damage is already done. Police are investigating two more shooting incidents near 300 Pearl Street and around 800 Main Street this past weekend. Melby says there's even a lack of reporting on gun crimes because victims of shootings are often involved in illegal activity too. We're finding now that people are getting shot and showing up at the hospital and not reporting it to the police. There is an obvious reason why gun crime has the attention of Grinky and Melby. When you have guns, it can end a life instantly. You can't go back on that. Grinky says people who own guns have a large responsibility. If you own a gun, be a responsible gun owner. Uh, keep it in a safe place. Keep it locked up if possible. Uh, keep ammunition away from it. We have way too many cases where people steal guns. He says La Crosse will not be able to arrest and prosecute its way out of gun violence. It will take everyone to save another innocent life from ending up as another case number. The stronger the community, the less crime there's going to be of all kinds. Reporting in La Crosse, this is Jordan Fremstead, News 8 Now. And Melby says there's no proven correlation between the recent shooting incidents and the pandemic.